I'm Bobby Hackney. I'm Dennis Hackney. And I'm Bobby Duncan. And we're the band called Death at Fun 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 Fest. <laughs> we did our first show uh, in Detroit, Michigan. And at the place called the Magic Stick. Uh, to a packed house. It was a big success. We went on the next day to Chicago to a sold out show. Um, those were the first two shows that was, we, we called that our maiden voyage, if you would. And it was very successful and it gave us a lot of energy and a lot of uh, inspiration. Uh, being here at Fun Fest uh, is just incredible. Uh, the crowd that we just played before was uh, just unreal. Just uh, they was really enjoying it, and we were, hey, we could have stayed up there on that stage forever. <laughs> we played a lot of garage shows. Uh, we played a lot of cabarets. Uh, we played, uh, and you know, there was not many opportunities to play uh, for a black rock band who came from the black community in Detroit. But the one thing you have to understand about Detroit, the whole Detroit musical culture at that time. It was all about really making the record. So we was, we was practicing original rock and roll music because we were more uh, in tune to making a record uh, at either, uh, m you know, any of the great studios, Motown, uh, Golden World, um, Danny Dallas's uh, studio, and of course the legendary United Sounds. And fortunately, we ended up at uh, the legendary United Sounds and were able to record that music right there. I mean, we know that you know, I mean, when you, the two biggest names out of Detroit right now is Eminem and Kid Rock. We understand that. Um, but, I mean, back during when, when we were coming up in Detroit, like the bands that we were tuned into were like Iggy and the Stooges and the MC5, Grand Funk Railroad, Alice Cooper. It was funny because when we left Detroit, the most popular rock and roll band was Kiss. And when we were playing at the Magic Stick, the band Kiss happened to be in town the same night. So it's, it, you're, you know, I don't know, it's like, I guess that's coming full circle for us, but uh, uh, those were a lot of the bands we were into. Bob Seger, uh, we used to see Bob Seger every year at the Detroit Auto Show down at the Cobo uh, Hall, way back in the early 60s. Uh, so he was like a good local act, and, and, and he went really big. So, I mean, all of those groups, the Rationals, and of course the Motown, I mean, we, you know, had a healthy dose of Motown in our household and the Beatles and so I mean Detroit was just a great place to be between 1960 and 1975 it was a great place to be for music we do have an extensive catalog that my brother David and I wrote during that year we have an extensive catalog of music that all three of us recorded not only in our um, rehearsal space but uh, we recorded it at Grooseville Productions, at Demo Studios, and some of it at United Sounds. So we, uh, we have a lot of stuff that, that's going to be uh, coming out soon that we're going to share with the world. And uh, I, think that, uh, I think you're really going to love it, too. All right, well, if you want to know what really first got us into the rock and roll thing, okay, there was, there was two concerts that we usually always talk about. I remember one time me and my mother was going downtown. She was going to a Pistons game. Uh, but on the way to the Pistons game, we got kind of stuck in the middle of a, a big crowd. And that crowd happened to be Alice's Coop, Alice Cooper's crowd. And so she looked up on the stage, and you know, it was Alice Cooper on his Billion Dollar Babies tour, so he had the bow constrictor and everything. And she looked up on the stage and said, who is that fella? I said, Mom, that's Alice Cooper. She said, okay, you don't have to tell me no more. I said, Mom, that's one of the greatest rock and roll stars in the world. And uh, she said, okay, I, I still think he has somewhat of a problem, but okay, I believe what you say. And when I stayed there and watched that concert, it was like, I just got turned on to the sound. And then later on, uh, Dave went to a Who concert, and when he got turned on to the sound, it was, it was a done deal. 1973 was the year that rock and roll exploded on us, um, and we were, 
we were doing like a three piece, you know, we were doing a lot of heavy stuff like Johnny Winter, we was doing The Who, um, we was doing Alice Cooper, we was doing uh, some MC5. It might be a good question for you, and, uh, and, and you Bobby. So, you know, we just did a whole lot of stuff. Fell on him in, in yeah. The last two years. And for Bobby, yeah, this is all so playing rock and roll. It's, he's like a kid at Christmas, so. Yeah, well, yeah, for me. <laughs> Uh, for me, well, first of all, my influence uh, is not exactly the same as theirs because, you know, I wasn't in Detroit at the time. I've been with them for about two years now. Um, but in my mind's eye, in the years I've been doing music, because we've been doing music for about the same amount of time, I was just in a different city. Um, but, you know, good music lends itself to good playing. You know, so my inspiration basically was just the songs themselves, because they're good songs. Uh, and really, when you have when you have good material, I know that from producers from playing for many years, we have good material. You know, it's just going to bring it out you. So the inspiration is just automatically there. I just had to like just just feel it, man. You know, what I'm saying? and draw from the music. And basically, you know, what you see coming out of me was already there. I'm just transmitting it. That's all. That's all that's happening. Um, this is a pl uh, privilege to do this. Um, this is death. Uh, November seventh. It's hard for me to say that being here in Austin and um, originating in, or, or living in New England. But this is November 7th, 2009, and we're at Fun, Fun, Fun Fest. And we would love to thank all the organizers of Fun Fest. What a great festival. Austin is an awesome town. And we would like to say to Spin Magazine on its 25th anniversary, Wild Spin, I've seen a lot of your issues. I've read a lot of your reviews and a lot of your issues, and I, hey, some of the some of the forty, I mean, vinyl records I bought, you know, in the early '80s, was because of reviews that I've read that you guys have written. Um, just keep up the good work. Long live rock and roll. Congratulations. Congratulations, Spin, Spin Magazine, one of the best magazines for rock and roll. Hey, and we'd like to say thank you to the Motor City blog. Mm -hmm. And, uh, hey, keep on blogging in the Motor City. Mm -hmm. All right? Don't ever give up on Detroit. Detroit's about to rise. That's right. So hang on for the ride. It's going to be a wonderful one.